guys, it's Morgan from Just Morgan. Uh, here with a Nasty Gal Sephora and Ulta haul. Um, I have been stuck in the house with pretty much nothing to do besides Netflix and stuffing my face and obviously online shopping, which is why we're here. <laughs> um, so if you want to check out and see what I got, keep on watching. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see from me. I definitely love to shop, so it's definitely going to be a lot of, a lot of fashion. But if you want to see anything else, just let me know. I'm open to everything. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. Nasty Gal has been having sales off and on. They kind of have been changing like the percentage, like a, one week it'll be 50% and then it'll go back to 60 and it's kind of been off and on. Thankfully, I catch, I caught it when it was 60% off, so a lot of this stuff really isn't that bad. I think the most I paid was $32 for an item, and they were shoes. So honestly, to me, that's not as bad as what it was, you know? Um, I have shopped with Nasty Gal in the past, and it's kind of been sometimes a hit or miss for me. Um, previously, like, their quality was kind of mm and iffy, um, but... I'm kind of glad whatever happened since the last time I shopped from them, um, they definitely picked it up because um, the quality is definitely a whole lot better and I feel like for the price that I was paying, um, it's actually really, really great. So the first item is this white t-shirt, this white cotton t-shirt. Um, I thought it was going to be like a little bit, it's more of that kind of like oversized fit. I thought it was going to be a little bit more slim fitting, um, which I honestly don't really mind. So if you do get it, you might want to size down just depending on what you want your fit to look like. With me, I honestly don't mind because half the time I end up tucking my shirts into my pants or like doing that half tuck, you know, so it honestly doesn't really matter to me. Or if I wear leggings, I have something to actually cover my butt. Um, but it says Senorita on it. I think I paid... 11.20 for this so honestly not bad for like a simple white cotton t-shirt and I can pretty much style it with jeans a skirt leggings so she's gonna she's gonna do me pretty good um the next item that I got was this white tank top so I used to live in Texas and I just moved to Florida it's been almost a year and I realized I don't have a lot of tank tops or the tank tops that I do have, they're not really kind of like ones that I can really jazz up. So I got this white like razorback tank top. It does like a little, kind of looks like a you kind of just twisted it. Um, and it has like the really long deep armholes. Initially I was getting this to wear to rolling while it's not happening until February, but I mean, I guess I'll probably wear it, it's Miami. But um, I got this to wear so I wouldn't have to kind of wear a bra with it. Um, but it's really thin, so I, don't, I honestly don't think that's gonna work out. On the website, like if you see the model, it has like that, you know, kind of side boob action. And of course, they probably put like tape on her. Um, but with this, I think with me, I'm gonna have to wear like a bralette or a bandeau with it just because it doesn't fit as tight, you know form fitting on it if I do I'll probably have to like tuck it in and like tape it and then put pasties on because it is kind of thin so you can probably see my nips and we're not trying to have that so but it's super cute so it's a really great basic I feel like to have in my um closet it's just one of those like it's a basic that has the, the little you know like you can have a regular tank top but this is kind of like Ooh, this is in the front party in the back type of deal um, again super cute to kind of wear with like jeans or a skirt which is what I'm pairing it with it's a, it's a skirt um, but I feel like it was just a good little basic to have in my closet when I was feeling jazzy that day um, I paid $9.20 for that tank top so honestly not that bad I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this skirt next um it's a black skirt with the white stars on it so with nasty gal their sizing is a little wonky so i knew i knew with like 
tops I'm always good with a medium I've never had to do like a large sometimes I can do smalls too it just depends on what it is and what it's made of um, with pants I always have issues especially shopping online um, I'm always in between an 8 or a 10 so with this skirt I got a 10 it has like the little ruffles at the bottom I don't know if you can see that yeah the little ruffles at the bottom that everybody everyone's seeming to love to put on skirts nowadays but I mean it's spring so if you could have add that little extra girl and frill it's perfect but yeah um I just thought it was really cute I I've honestly just started wanting to wear skirts more often I don't know what it is or why or what phase this is but um I guess since I live in Florida now like the humidity is a little different than Texas so wearing jeans and pants is kind of like killer for me so throwing on a skirt honestly is literally the best um i'm actually really glad i didn't get an eight because i actually have like a little bit of wiggle room if i was to go out and eat i have that little bit of room if i eat too much or get too full she's not gonna like pop off um but perfect it's super cute i tried it on with i'm gonna pair it with the tank top which by the way i'm gonna do a spring lookbook with some of these pieces so be on the lookout for that <laughs> um but i'm gonna pair it with that tank top and i feel like it's gonna be really really cute tucked in and then maybe do like a transitional outfit too as well with like a leather skirt you know i mean not skirt a leather jacket i feel like that would be super super cute with this and really edgy i paid how much did i pay for that sorry i wrote down the prices because i threw away my receipt which does anybody else have that problem they're like oh i'm gonna keep the receipt but they don't yeah, that's me. I'm that person. Paid anyway. $16 for that skirt. Um, really, really not bad. It's nasty, gal, you know. And I, uh, that was that was with a discount, so not really too mad about that one. The next skirt I got, it's actually one of those little wrap skirts, which I used to really hate these skirts when I was younger. I don't know why, but lately they've been like growing on me a little bit. So I went ahead and got one. It, well, it would have a little bow if I would have tied it up, but I tried all this on. Um, this one was the size 8. It is kind of like a little bit too tight, so this is definitely going to be one of those. Uh, we're not going out to eat. We're probably going for drinks, or I'm just going to take pictures in it. Um, but it is super cute. It um, has the ruffle detailing too as well, and the little polka dots. Perfect for spring. Pro polka dots seem to be like the thing this year. And I have like way too many <laughs> polka dot everything. Sorry, mom. She hates polka dots. But I feel like it's going to be super cute um, with that Senorita t shirt. I feel like it'd be so cute. Um, and then pairing with these boots that I'm about to show you would be next level. Uh, I think I paid $14 for that skirt. Um, so just a little bit less than the black skirt. Next. My favorite part of this haul, of course, shoes. I have an obsession and this is me admitting it. I know I have a problem. We're not gonna talk about it. My boyfriend already knows the deal so he doesn't say anything to me when he sees shoe boxes. He kind of just, oh, okay, that's cute. <laughs> but anyway, um, I got these white boots. I actually already have some kind of like patent leather. Well, not patent leather, but they're just all white boots I got from Forever 21, but I can't really wear them with everything in my closet. So I feel like these were a little bit more casual, still fun and cute and can jazz up any outfit. But I feel like this is these are a little bit more basic um, than the ones that I actually do have. And I kind of, I don't know if it's since like I moved from Texas or what, but anything like that has that Western detailing like the little stitching right here I felt ugh, I'm head over heels for it um but I got a size eight and I am a size eight so they run true to, true to size um I tried them on and I honestly didn't have any problem but I actually have like narrow feet and I did like I feel like if you have wider feet you might want to size up they don't do half sizes so I mean it, it probably just kind of depends on how you like your shoes to fit if anything you can do the whole like you know water put water in a baggie and freeze it or something like that it's something like that but yeah my feet are really narrow I'm always I'm always a size 8 and I, I really don't have any issues 
with um, nasty gal shoes um, and these fit perfectly I honestly haven't walked around them in them longer than like five minutes I feel like they'll be fine I really I mean like the heel is not it's not that big so honestly I shouldn't have an issue with it but I have an office job and I've been trying to get stuff that suits a 27 year old in an office environment so we'll see how this works um but yeah I got these to go with the senorita t-shirt and the red skirt I feel like it would be really really cute um I know that's kind of probably like a lot of white but I feel like that'd be really cute and really kind of fresh for spring so yeah um <laughs> I've paid $30.40 for these so honestly not that bad for some shoes especially the little faux leather shoes because I don't know what it is people even with faux leather I feel like they want you to pay an arm and a leg for some shoes so super cute I cannot wait to style these especially with some jeans and stuff so white booties um and then my last thing from Nasty Gal I got these black boots that I have been wanting for forever in a day. Can we just? So they have a little zip up in the back, but this belting detail is really what got me. Anything that has like hardware, especially shoes that have hardware on them, I'm always like head over heels for. Um, and then they have like the little pointed toe. Um, I have been having my eyes on these for a good couple of months. And then when I got that notification that they had the 60% off sale, these and that black skirt were literally like the first thing that I put in my cart. Like no thinking about it, nothing. Like you're, you're, you're coming home with me. Um, but I thought they were just super, super cute. Um, of course, they're just regular black boots, but I feel like with this hardware and the detailing, I feel like that just elevated them a whole lot more. And you can actually see through them, so I felt like they would be really cute to wear in the summer and springtime. It won't make my freaking feet sweat. So I thought these were super cute. Um, I've had, like, like I said, I've had my eyes on these for a long minute now. And the fact that I only paid 32 bucks for them, they were like originally 70 something dollars. So the $30 that I got them for, totally worth it. I'm going to probably wear the crap out of these. Um, honestly, nasty gal shoes for me, I have, I still have some from like years ago. And honestly, they never really give me any issue. I feel like for what I'm paying for them, they last a really long time. So honestly, not bad. Um, okay, so actually got some makeup, which I don't know why I did that because I don't wear makeup every day. So honestly, I probably have too much <laughs> for, me not wear, for me not to wear makeup every day. But I know Fenty, they had their little shimmer sticks on sale and Ulta, like they had um, some lipsticks and stuff on sale. So that's why I got like a MAC lipstick, but Fenty had the shimmer sticks going for $12.50 at one point in time. I don't think they're at $12.50 anymore, but I got this one, which one is this one? Oh, Bordeaux Brat, I'm, I think that's how you say it. If I'm not saying it right, please feel free to correct me in the comments. But Again, this was one that I've had my eye on for a little bit. Um, I absolutely love Fenty and especially these little shimmer sticks. Uh, they're perfect to travel with because they have like the little magnets. I wish I had my other ones in here all in the bathroom. But they all kind of stick together, especially for me, somebody who is terrible at leaving things, especially when traveling. Like I leave stuff all the time. Um, I thought this was really cute. I already have um, the little matchsticks for like contouring um i think i have the contouring and espresso and then oh i can't remember the little highlight one that i have but i have the other little shimmer sticks one is confetti i have the unicorn one and 
rum I think is the other one that I have but I don't have like this I felt like this would be really cute um, for the days that I'm feeling kind of funky so to have a little Yuki sorry my cat I felt like this would be really cute to have a colored highlight um, I've tried this on already um, it's actually it like if I blend it in it'll be a lot better but I also wanted to use it as eyeshadow too so I felt like that would be really really cute can you see it like it shimmers just a little bit yeah um, but yeah love these um anytime somebody ever asks me about Fenty I have nothing but great things to say about it she did her research and I'm I have absolutely nothing bad to say like of course there's some things that don't work for me in my skin tone but for these shimmer sticks they go on like a little bit easier that just they're beautiful if you ever are thinking about getting Fenty get it um, and then the next thing I got from Fenty, it was part of, um, I think it was like the last little summer drop that she did. Like this summer she dropped like the Cheeks Out um, bronzers and blush. This was last summer with the little lipstick. I paid $14. Oh yeah, the shimmer stick was $12.50. I don't remember if I said it. But this one was $14 I believe. Um, of course I didn't come out of pocket really for any of this. I actually used <laughs> use my gift cards from Christmas time so thank you Terrence for my which one was this Sephora gift card yes came in handy I finally used it after months but this is the little popsicle lipstick that she came out with I have been wanting this lipstick forever in a day honestly I have a couple of the matte as well but the Mademoiselle's um, lipsticks and they're beautiful so I saw these and I don't know why I never got them I felt I probably felt like I just couldn't pull them off but since I had the gift card and they had the sales and stuff going on I went ahead and got it I oh that goes on so nice oh and that's a lot oh that would be pretty together I feel like anyway um, it's not a matte, it's more, it, it looks more, it's a little sheer, but, oh, it's so pretty. I can't wait to get out of quarantine so I actually can beat my face, but yeah. I feel like that's really, really pretty, and it feels really nice. It feels really, like it's gonna moisturize my lips. Um, with her lipstick, most of them have kind of that moisturizing feel. I think some of, there's like a couple of the Mademoiselles which of course they're they're matte so they kind of dry out just a little bit but honestly if you just put some chapstick and stuff on before you put that on you'll be perfectly fine it's not that big of a deal um but yeah this one was in the color popsicle so <laughs> oh wait Ooh, so cute and then the last thing i got was I don't know why I've never owned MAC lipstick in the color Ruby Woo. I think the last one that I had that was close to this shade was the Rihanna shade and I honestly can't even remember the name. Like I, it was years ago when she first started doing makeup with MAC and I honestly can't remember the name of it but it was like, I, I know like a lot of beauty people were saying it was pretty much the same thing as Ruby Woo. It was probably like a shade or two off but I had a gift card to Ulta. Thank you, TT. That was a Christmas present as well. But I went ahead and grabbed this. Um, I don't know what's happened with my makeup. There's like been a couple, I don't know if it was from me moving and just leaving stuff at my mom's or my old apartment, but I can't find like, I used to have like this really pretty red and I can't even remember where I got it from or what brand it was. But I can't find it so I needed a red and of course since I had that gift card and I already know like I've already been at the Mac store and tried it on I just I don't know why I never bought it it's probably broke but super super cute beautiful red like we all need a red girl, every girl needs a beautiful perfect red and Ruby Lou I feel like is that perfect red for everybody like I've never heard anybody say anything about it but yep that is what I bought for 
my quarantine super online shopping I actually have more um, I bought stuff from Dolls Kill like I did a ginormous order from Dolls Kill and I just recently a couple of days purchased something from Zara which by the way I don't know if it's new or what but they always have these little special offer things now like you know how Zara never had anything on sale well now they have a thing on their app that says special offers and there's some stuff that's like on sale so that's pretty much what that is but anyway I've been stuck in this house too long I need them to hurry up and tell us that we can get out of here and I need people to quit being gross and wash their hands and stop coughing on people and if you feel sick stay home so we could all get out of here but I bought way too many clothes and I need to get out of here so people can see them like I'm, I'm done staying at home in my pajamas well not really in my pajamas right now but please for the love of God listen people stop being gross I hope you guys learned a lesson but anyway Yes, um, be on the lookout for more hauls from me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you have any questions um, or recommendations on what else I should film for you guys, please let me know down in the comments. Please. <laughs> I need some video ideas besides lookbooks and hauls because I will go broke, people. I will go broke. And then I can probably never do these videos ever again. But <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you guys come back for more. And uh Stay safe out there, okay? Bye.